younger daughter became four years old. She became suddenly crippled. She could not walk. Are you listening to me? She could not walk. It happened in my presence. I was watching. I was, I was, uh, well, there's an inner void over on the balcony, and I was looking down, and I saw she couldn't go up the steps. She was creeping, I thought. And Reverend Tom was with us that day. He was close to her by the steps. And he was saying to her, what are you doing? Get up. Get up and walk. I was watching. I noticed she didn't get up. She was creeping like a baby. So I said, bring up, bring up. I perceived something had gone wrong because she wouldn't do this. So I took her in and I put her on the ground and she just collapsed down. The legs were like ropes. She just went down. I said, what? So I called my wife quickly. I said, what happened? She said, I don't know. So we didn't know. She was just on the ground. I wasn't sure. I was thinking. How do you begin to pray? Because now you don't know exactly what to do. You don't even know what the situation is. Not even, no clue. Before then, everything was all right. And how so suddenly? Okay. We prayed a general prayer, not knowing what, what exactly. And thought, maybe, well, okay, get up. No, she didn't get up. She started crying instead. Because I was getting, get up! <laughs> she started crying. So I said, all right. Okay. First, let's pray. We prayed. But general prayer, like I said. Because you, there's just no understanding at the moment. But I knew something was wrong. But what was wrong? To know. Okay, maybe it's just a little thing. Maybe. I said, all right, let's take her to the doctor. So, my wife took her to the doctor. And this was in the morning time. By 7 p.m., they're not back. Now, I'm getting disturbed. And I take the phone and I call. What's the matter? Um, my wife says, we're still here with the doctor. I said, can I talk to the doctor then? The doctor gets on the phone and says to me, I'm very sorry. You know, when the doctor tells you, very sorry, <laughs> it means something's gone bad, you know? He says, I'm very sorry. Um, your daughter may never be able to walk again. I said, why? And then he went through all this long stuff, telling me, okay, it's got muscles problem, the bones problem, all of these problems, you know? And all the time I'm thinking, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. So I said, okay, can I talk to my wife? Then I said, um, I think the best thing is just come back home. So she came. I looked at my little girl. The doctor said, she'll never walk again. In the next few days, three doctors would say the same thing. Okay. Now, I've been holding crusades, you know. I've been doing all of this stuff. So, I said to my wife, here is what we're going to do. There's something we believe that works and cannot fail. And it will work now. 
So we will use the word. So she said, yes. So I said, let's pray. We prayed. And I said, from this moment, we will talk to the bones, to the tendons, to the ligaments. We will talk to these limbs. And they will respond to us. So we started. Every day. Every day. When I went to the office, you know, I'll see these pictures. I'll see this picture in my mind. My daughter coming in the wheelchair. And I said, no! And somebody coming to the office, sir! And they think, what's the matter? You know, I, oh, no, no, sorry, nothing. So they don't know. Oh, sorry. Then I get up, shut the door, and I go, She'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump. She'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump. She'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump. I said that God knows how many times. Maybe several thousand times, I don't know. Every day I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Many times in church, Wednesday night, Sunday morning, I was preaching to myself. I'll preach, preach, preach the word to myself. And they, thought I was ex they thought I was inspiring them in the word of God. All I could think about was my little girl, Charlene. She was the one I was thinking about. I, 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 I'll preach, but I, I, I was preaching to me. I was preaching the word of God to my spirit. Then when I closed and said, let's pray, all I was saying, she'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump, she'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump, she'll walk, she'll run, she'll jump. I just kept saying that. Every day, that's all I could see in my spirit. But again and again, I'll see, she's in crutches, in a wheelchair. No! Then I start all over again. <laughs> Several months passed by. But you see, my mind was made up. I was going to work the word. See, let me tell you something. If you're waiting for the word of God to somehow come to pass, you're wrong. He says, work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. That means godly reverence. Work it out. You are the one to work it out. He has already done his part. Jesus is seated in heaven. He's not doing things. He's not doing things for us. He's done everything. And this is real. Otherwise, what's Christianity? If we are God beggars. Begging God for something, begging God for money, begging God for some help, begging God for healing, begging God. What did Jesus do for us? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. My mind was made up. If it was going to take me a thousand years to do it, I was going to do it anyhow. But I was going to be victorious. My mind was made up. I, Jesus said we could talk to anything. He said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, he said, you shall not only do that which is done to the fig tree, you shall say to this mountain, go from here to there. He says, and it will obey you. That's what he said. No matter where I was or where she was, I was saying the same thing. I would say, bones, you're hearing me. Tendons, you're hearing me. Muscles, you're hearing me. You're hearing me. You will function rightly. You will grow rightly. I was saying that all the time. All the time. Until one day, she stood. She didn't walk. She stood. The legs carried her. But it bent backwards in a terrible way. I shouted, no, not so. Don't stand that way. They bent backwards in a funny way. I said, no. Straighten up. She said, Daddy, I can't. I said, you can. Then she fell down. I said, but at least she stood. <laughs> That's a good place from not standing. You know what it was on her birthday when she couldn't stand to call her cake? Oh, my goodness. That's why I like to pray for children. I know what parents go through. I know. That day was terrible. All the little kids were playing around and then they asked Shalene to come and cut her cake. 
And someone had to carry her. She couldn't stand. I went into my bedroom. I said, oh God. I said, oh God. I didn't know what to say. Oh God. I said she couldn't even stand to cut her cake. Oh God. It was like, you know. I said, oh God. But I couldn't, you know. Oh, I knew I could do something, but my mind was made. I said, Lord, I'm going to put your word to work. It will have to produce results. It will. I said, it will. It will. I sent somebody to go and bring her up. The big time brought her up. The others were playing out there. So it was her birthday. Brought her back into the room. I sat down. Sat down and I was talking to her legs. I was talking. This was on her birthday. I just couldn't take it. I couldn't wait another day. I just kept talking, 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 talking. All right. And this went on for months and months until one day my wife was going to the mall and I said uh, on the phone, I said, So, where's Charlene? She said, oh, She's here. I said, so what are you doing? She said, um, she's in the pram. I said, in the pram? That's a wheelchair, don't you understand? You understand what I'm talking about? That's a wheelchair in these guys. <laughs> so I said, in the pram? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no. Now I was talking. Then I told my wife, I said, now here's what you do. Every time you say these words, you say them, and you say them, and you say them. You say them again and again. And we have to say them every day. Until one day, she began to take her steps. The next thing, she went to the park. And... Her sister called me on the phone. She said, Daddy, we're at the park today. And Charlene walked. I said, she did? I said, that's wonderful. She'll do more. Oh, she said, Daddy, you should have been, you should have been here. It was really beautiful. I said, really? Okay, I'm coming. And I went. There was more. I drove went to the mall. When I parked, came out on this side. My little girl said, Daddy, do what I can do. I turned. She leaped out of the car. Oh. And ran. Oh. You know, tears just came out of my eyes. That Jesus, I knew it would happen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the word of God. Yes. You know why I said that to you? I told you the three things. The name, the spirit, the word. Yes. All right? This thing works. You got to understand what I'm telling you. This thing works. It works. It works. You see it happening. You keep talking it. You see it happening. And the changes will be there. Don't stop. Just go on, and go on, and go on, and go on. You know what it is when the doctor says, there's no way. And then, I mean, you, you can't go to the doctor no more. There's no way. The word of God is the solution for life's crisis. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Remember, the word of God created the world. 